People like Gene Pitney. Gene Pitney. Gene Pitney. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good whatever, everyone. It's Paul here for my usual things, and uh, today I am in Liverpool. I'm not going to tell you which cemetery um, because I've seen that the family have requested that people that do film here don't disclose the location. Um, but we've come to find the final resting place of Freddie Starr. Of course, that well known comedian who, I don't know about you, but as soon as I saw him, I would just laugh. I just thought he had one of those faces. His uh, comedic timing was second to none. His ability to sing was amazing as well, which, and to incorporate that into his comedy routine, I just thought made him uh, an outstanding comedian. You know, he won Opportunity Knocks, I think six years in a row when he was younger as well. I'll tell you a little bit more information about him real soon. Now, if you like Freddie Starr um, and you remember seeing him, please give the video uh, a comment underneath, let me know. And uh, if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel already. And hit that notification bell as well. Now I keep looking around because I keep hearing very, very strange noises. In here, which is unusual. <laughs> unusual, funnily enough, because the channel's called Unusual. Anyway, we got on now. I'll tell you a little bit more about Freddy Star. And um, if you do happen to notice where this cemetery is if you're local if you you know you've been here before please don't write it in the comments because um you know people have asked to keep it secret and rightly so um so you know we'll we'll just do that with power respects to him i'll tell you about him and then we're going to visit his final resting place and then we'll leave this wonderful place even though it's raining um i think my microphone is broke as well i've done so much filming today in the rain that um it doesn't work anymore so i'm hoping this picks up nice and clear anyway we'll tell you now a little bit more about freddie star freddie star born frederick leslie fowl 9th of january 1943 to the 9th of may 2019 was an English stand-up comedian, impressionist, singer and actor. He was born in Hoyton in the county of Lancashire, England. One of seven children, he was the son of a bricklayer who was often unemployed. According to Freddie Starr, his mother Hilda was from Germany and was Jewish. A twin brother died at birth. When his father, who was also a bare-knuckled boxer, was drunk, he repeatedly beat Starr up when he was a young child. In one incident, his father broke both of his son's legs. At the age of six, he stopped talking and was taken into care as a result of his experiences. He was teetotal for life. In 2001's autobiography, Unwrapped, Starr gives speech problems as the main reason he spent two years away from home in his childhood. He attended Sylvester's primary and later Hoyton secondary modern. His father died when he was in his early teens. Starr was encouraged by his mother to perform from the age of 12, working in pubs and clubs for five years. He was a member of the Hilda Fallon Roadshow, which toured community halls and hospitals. Under his birth name, he appeared as a teenager in the film Violent Playground, 1958. In 1961, he joined Derry and the Seniors and spent most of the time playing in Germany. They became the first Liverpool beat group to record and later release the LP in 1962. After disbanding in late 1962, Starr became the lead singer of the Mersey Beat pop group The Midnighters, which was managed by Brian Epstein. The group recorded three singles, each produced by Joe Meek. The singles all failed to enter the UK charts. During this period, Starr's group performed in Hamburg's nightclubs around the same time as the Beatles. Still relatively unknown to television audiences, he was discovered through the talent show Opportunity Knocks in 1967 where he appeared as a comedy stroke beat act, Freddie Starr and the Dalmonts, winning the popular vote each time over six weeks. He appeared as the second act on the 1970 Royal Variety performance, during which he did comedy impersonations of Cliff Richard, Tom Jones, Adam Faith, Billy Fury, Norman Wisdom and Mick Jagger. 
He was famous for impersonating Adolf Hitler in Wellington Boots. During his career, he also impersonated Elvis Presley and Ray Charles. Starr had released a number of albums in his career, one of which yielded a UK top 10 single, It's You, in March 1974. Two of his albums charted After the Laughter in 1989 and The Wanderer in 1990. Freddie Starr was the subject of one of the best-known British tabloid newspaper headlines. On the 13th of March 1986, The Sun carried its main headline, Freddie Starr Ate My Hamster. According to the text of the story, Starr had been staying at the home of his friend Vince McCaffrey and his 23-year-old girlfriend Leela Sal in Birchwood, Cheshire, when the alleged incident took place. Starr was claimed to have returned home from a performance at the Manchester nightclub in the early hours of the morning and demanded that the Sal make him a sandwich. When she refused, he went into the kitchen and put her pet hamster supersonic between two slices of bread and proceeded to eat it. Starr gave his own account of the story in his 2001 autobiography, Unwrapped, stating that the only time that he had ever stayed at Vince McCaffrey's house was in 1979 and that the incident was complete fabrication. Starr writes in the book, I have never eaten or even nibbled a live hamster, gerbil, guinea pig, mouse, shrew, vole or any other small mammal. He appeared in Freddy Star 1993 and to 1994 and Freddy Star Show 1996 to 1998, made by Central Television. At the beginning of his appearance on London Weekend's television and audience with Freddy Star in 1996, he threw handfuls of live maggots at the audience. Nevertheless, another audience with Freddy Star followed in 1997. This time he hit eggs with a golf club into the audience. Star was the owner of Mini Homer the winning horse in the 1994 Grand National Race. He was not present on the day because of television commitments elsewhere, but gave an unusual post-race interview live on television to present a Des Lynham via a mobile phone, with the television viewers able only to hear Lynham's responses to what Starr was saying. In March 2009, Starr appeared in Living with the Dead, a reality television show about people being haunted by ghosts. He claimed his 1930s house was being haunted by an evil entity, which he called George during the show. It appeared that he was possessed by this entity. It was later revealed that the entity's name was Roger. During the episode, Freddy says that since he was a young boy, he was always spiritual and firmly believed in ghosts. Star was due to tour in 2010, but the tour was cancelled when he suffered a major heart attack in April 2010, resulting in quadruple heart bypass surgery. The tour dates were rescheduled for 2011 after he recovered. On the 1st of November 2012, as part of Operation Utree, Starr was arrested by police at his Warwickshire home in connection with the Jimmy Savile sexual abuse scandal. He was arrested on three subsequent occasions without any connections to Savile, the last being on the 12th of February 2014. Starr denied the claims made against him. On the 6th of May 2014, it was reported that the Crown Prosecution Service had decided not to bring charges against Freddie Starr in connection with the allegations of the grounds for insufficient evidence. On the 10th of July 2015, the High Court dismissed a claim from slander and libel that Starr had brought against the woman who had made the allegations relating to his appearance on Clunk Click in 1974. The woman's claim was found to be true, but the case could not proceed because of the passage of time. He emigrated to Spain but denied this was due to legal bills estimated at £1 million saying he planned to move to Spain whatever the outcome of the court case. Starr was found dead at his home in Mijas on the Costa del Sol, Spain on the 9th of May 2019, aged 76. A post-mortem showed that he died from coronary artery disease. The director of Malaga Province's Institute of Legal Medicine stated that Starr's death was the result of natural process and specifically an ischemic heart disease. At the time of his death, Starr was living in the constrained financial circumstances and his funeral costs were covered by an undertaker from Sheffield. The funeral was held at Prescott Parish Church on Merseyside on the 13th of June 2019. So there's all the information there about Freddie Starr. What an amazing person he was. But you know, he was uh, an amazing talent, great singer, uh, very funny person, and a good all-round entertainer, I would say. Now, it's very windy here today, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, but we're just having a little look now for his final resting place. Um, and I've got a feeling it's around here somewhere. Do 
you know what? I think I found it. Let's go and have a look. Maybe we got a big star on it though. Let's make sure. That in loving memory of Richard Ernest Fowl, died 19th of November 1960, aged 49 years. Hilda May Bradford, formerly Fowl, died 29th of November 1992, aged 75 years. Um, and of course, Freddie's name isn't on the headstone itself. So there we have the final resting place of Freddie Starr. Um, what can we say? Massive, massive thank you. Freddie, from everyone that grew up watching you or saw you on Saturday Night TV entertaining us for years. Thank you so much. Uh, bless you. And um, wow, what an amazing talent he was. Freddie Starr. Thank you, Freddie. So there we have it, Freddie Starr, final rest in place. His name's obviously not on the, the headstone there, but he's, uh, his real name, of course, Fowl with his father and his mother there, of course, as well. Um, thank you, as always, for watching today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I wanna hear all your memories about Freddy Star, so please leave your comments down below, won't you? Uh, and if you like the video uh, and you like the channel, please subscribe, it's absolutely free, it doesn't cost you a thing. And I've got to say a massive thank you as well to everyone that um, donates towards the channel or is a member or contributes uh, anyway you know it's not cheap doing this I travel all around the country hotels traveling all the rest of it you know and it all adds up um, and it gets pretty steep sometimes so thank you to everyone that helps out and thank you even if you just watch the videos that's really important um, just getting viewing figures on the videos helps me as well, it spreads the channel, hopefully it grows and enables me to do this a bit more and carry on doing this further afield to different personalities and people that are victims of crime to tell their story as well around the country and further afield um, as we continue on our journey here at Unusual Things. Thank you as always guys and gals. I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy. He flicks it on, the music comes through the speakers, and you think it's those artists singing. Well, it's not. <laughs> the miming. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful song. Vince, thank you. Tapes. <laughs> Paint your palette blue and gray. <laughs> With eyes that know the darkness in my soul